And welcome back to Zero Max Warp. This is Blee Blee Blee. And this is Brother Love And this is an ignorant seven year old boy. <laughs> we're gonna bring you now Hulk Hogan in a winter bread. This is gonna be a great match. I wonder if Kane might be. Well, Kane, as we just saw with a. And he is! Kane had a dominating victory over Matt Hardy. I know, and now he's challenging Frollo to an Inferno match at the American Bat. Oh, I hope Frollo doesn't accept that match. I hope he does, because they both like fire. You just said he did, you didn't want him to in the other part. Well, I don't. What do you mean? Shut up. Anyway, here comes a man who likes snow. He does, so obviously fire isn't the best. Will fire melt this snowflake? <laughs> Winter breath. See, that's like a metaphor, because I'm a woman and I make metaphors. What's a metaphor? It's for your butt. Anyway, here we go. Yeah, that was a joke. Women aren't good at telling jokes. Winter Bradley's had a heck of a fight against Otunga at Ooze, but just could not get the job done. I know, because Otunga is an A-list. It's the ass list. <laughs> good one. It's because he's got a nice butt and I want to tap it. Because I'm a woman. Now look at the strength of winner with that super. When you stop talking about, you know, going out on dates with boys. Why? Because I don't like it. Shut up. Off the ropes. Hogan just throwing his power around on Winter Bradley's. You sound like a boy. You sound like a girl. Oh, a big boot by Hulk Hogan and a leg drop. I thought that. Oh, hitting him in the face. Winter, Fun. Winter needs to get momentum back because Hogan is clearly. I know, he's in the oh, lead. Working on his arm and another leg drop. Got her. We saw Kane show some leg drops earlier. I know, he was doing, he was doing like leg drop, leg drop, leg drop, tackle, leg drop. Yes, that's exactly what happened. Wow. And now Winter finally getting some control off the ropes and elbow to the face of Hogan. This no. Oh. Oh no, Hogan's no oh busted open in Winter Brad. <laughs> this snowflake is lit on fire already! Whenever Hogan knocks somebody open, busts them open, that's not a good sign if you can remember the prophecy. Hogan has to make three people bleed and then we all die. Yeah, that's bad. How many people has he made bleed? Well, I believe he made Edge bleed once, so this is the second person. But it's only gonna matter if either of them were the main man, the savior, or the leader. And I can tell you one thing, Winter Bradley's is not the main man. We're all going to die! I don't think God wants that to happen. You can't change a prophecy. Oh! Headbutt to the penis of Hulk Hogan! I think you're getting the idea that I have to tell Oh, wait a minute, roll over! Count it! One! one two, two! No! Uh, I, oh. I have a plan to tell Frollo, I'll whisper it in your ears. No! So no! Why? Why don't you just say it out loud so Frollo can hear you? Uh oh. Yeah, but Hulk Hogan will hear you. Who cares about Hogan? He's wrestling a nobody right now. <laughs> no, he's wrestling. Fire is wrestling a. Oh, the knockout brother to a bloodied winter. Bro, oh, man, just end <gasps> it. This snowflake is too fiery already. And that's the end of. The winter. momentum of a winter Bradley's has melted in the hands of Hulk Hogan. When he leaves, and I will tell you the plan. Because I don't want him to hear it. Because he'll get momentum. Yeah, and we can see. The Knockout Brother. The Knockout Brother. Oh, to a bloody Winter Bradley's. And a butt. And a, always followed up with a massive atomic leg drop. And the one fun. Anyway, what an impressive win by Hogan coming off a loss. I know. And, and we'll be right back after this commercial break on Jeremax War. And welcome back. It's time for our main event. Pac-Man Pac Jones versus Quaffarolo! Now, as you see, Otunga made Yeah, and Sakota wasn't very happy about that, so next week on Vortex, Sakota says Otunga has to fight Kane! Now Kane's going to destroy us all and kill us so we will not be Well, Otunga said he was going to send a message to Kane tonight. I have yet to see Otunga send that message. I know. Here comes the number one contender to the World Heavyweight. Oh, really? How unprofessional is that? Wait a minute, Pac-Man is going to say something. D-list? The D-list. calling Tonga a punk. 
He's confident, I'll give him that. Kinda cute. Uh, I said stop that! That's right, Furlough was world champion last year. He makes a very valid point. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, Wendy's he's calling Furlough out saying he wasn't a real champion. Back then, Pac-Man was the intercontinental champion. Yeah, too busy. <laughs> I can't say that. Yeah, he can't. He's sick of being overlooked. Oh, no! Clearly. Today he's going to win! And here comes Claude Frollo. Put into this match by Otunga. Otunga is clearly trying to weaken his American American all, all American American Bash opponent, Pac-Man Jones. And here we go. We might actually do the blank fire. Frollo. Claude. Yeah, whatever. Here we go. Frollo and Pac-Man, the main event, catching Pac-Man early. Didn't he? Oh, what a dragon whip! I know, it was like whoop, 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 whoop. Knees, count him three. Three knees to the face by Frollo, who is in clear control in the early going. Like this. Are you all right? No. Maybe you shouldn't knee yourself in the face when nobody can see you. Now can I tell you the plan? Oh, a nice fireman's carry takeover by Frollo going behind Pac-Man. Pac-Man isn't a reversal. Another reversal. I'll tell you the plan. Pac-Man clearly has not been able to take control of this match yet. If Frollo reversing again, Pac-Man needs to get back into this when one. When Hulk place. Hogan comes out of that ring and Frollo comes out when he's still out of the ring, he summons fire and then kills Hulk Hogan, which would save us all. I guess. Frollo couldn't hear you because he's busy ah, having yeah, complete, does. complete control over Pac-Man. Nice kick to the head. Maybe if he heard me, he would be better. Well, obviously, you're supposed to be talking to the audience and not Frollo, and you're doing a terrible job, which is why I came out here to help you. Get out! Oh, man, just knocking him into the barricade, Frollo. I know, which one do you like better? Frollo has taken this match since the beginning and has not given Pac-Man any chance to recover. Do you like Cl Claude or Frollo? Pac-Man... Said he didn't want to be overlooked, but clearly the number one contender doing a terrible job keeping up with Frollo. It's really quite disastrous. For Pac-Man, I agree. He's putting his money- oh man, he's putting- Money where, on the line! Money where his mouth is, Pac-Man has yet to do anything to Frollo. Does that mean let's- Oh, there we go! Pac-Man has his opportunity! Oh, never mind. Lost again. Oh, nice German suplex, but we get a rope break. Wait, no, he was going for the pin. Pac-Man needs to do something. What should he do to get back in this match against Frollo? Who cares? We want Frollo to save us. Yeah, but we we want Pac-Man to beat Otunga. Clearly, this was a master plan by David Otunga. Oh! To get rid of who are we supposed to cheer for in this match? Honestly. Oh, man! Kicked to the... Frollo has just been in control the entire time. Kids on Frollo! Fine, I'm going with Pac-Man. Oh, nice kick to the apron. Woo, go, Frollo! You're the man now! Oh, come on, Pac-Man needs to get back into this thing. He's the number one contender. The stupid... Hold on! <laughs> ah. Oh, nice kick to the head. And now Frollo going back to the head of Pac-Man. Pac-Man Jones is desperate at this point. Oh, there we go! There's his opening. A knee to the stomach. Frollo is down. Please. Now he's just Rope no. we'll break. Where did you go? I fainted. Oh, okay. Because you hit me. Oh, shut and up. And I still feel the Pac-Man Jones. Finally, he's fighting back after taking so much abuse. Is it enough? Can he beat Frollo here tonight? No. In the main event of war. Pac-Man now. Finally in control. A nice kick to the back. Off the ropes! Oh, he oh, they knocked each other over, but because Pac-Man was behind the ropes, he managed to Boom! working on the knee of Frollo. I know the knee, the K N E E. Oh man, trips him. Frollo taking back control. Spell water. But wait a minute, Pac-Man! Oh, I slammed by Pac-Man. No, Frollo! I slammed by the number one contender. You want Frollo to save us, not Pac-Man. Going off the top rope. Oh, he crowns him with a nice axe handle. No! 
Fuck off! And oh, nice! No! Pac-Man. Wait a minute! Oh, another slam by Pac-Man Jones. I hate you. Nothing really on the line, but it's a wow. It's a nice contest between two main eventers here. I mean, wow. Frollo and Pac-Man giving it everything they've got back and forth. Frollo had the advantage at the beginning, but Pac-Man. Here we go, the Waka Waka Waka! Don't walk count it, you gotta count it, is it over? Oh my god, I don't believe it! Pac-Man Pac Jones is beating Frollo! What a main event! I gotta applaud both men, Frollo put up a fight, but... You know, after the beating he took from Kane at Ooze, he's obviously not a hundred... Yeah, he's not a hundred percent. He's like 55 or 50. Well, can't take away anything from Pac-Man either, because he came back and wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, Frollo's gonna. Yeah, I gotta agree. Congratulations, Pac-Man. He put up a hell of a fight. It's, it's really great sportsmanship by Frollo. Oh, what? He's accepting Kane's challenge. Oh, gonna... yes! An inferno match at the. Oh, I'm... wait a minute. Is that Otunga? Wait, wait a minute. Otunga, the A-list. Oh, and this is what Otunga meant. Otunga said he was gonna send a message to Kane, and he's gonna try to send this message by attacking Frollo. On a Dominator! A and Frollo just gets back up. Stupid, stupid Otunga. He's realizing off with applied fire! Oh, here comes Hellfire! And he nails it! Clearly, this was not a well thought out plan. Ah, a well thought out plan by David Otunga. Frollo is impressed. That he manned up! Obviously, he didn't man up enough. Is another hellfire. Oh! Otunga trying to send a message to Kane. Obviously, that was not a good idea. Well, if he's going after Frollo. Frollo telling P Otunga that he can't win. <clears throat> and look at Otunga running away. His plan has completely backfired. He's the D-list, not the A-list. Frollo standing tall. Otunga versus Kane next week. We've got a tag team tournament final, and will Grover Cleveland accept Lamarall's challenge? That and so much more. We will see you next week with Homer and Johnny on Vortex. This is the women's champion, Linda McSweeney. Blah, 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 blah. And this is blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Thanking you for watching Warp. See ya.